the Jamaican national football team and federation have no ratings in world football. And Steve McLaren needs to change that fast. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? Big up Gunners. I hear that. Don't know something about Gunners. Big up Gunners. Big up Gunners. Big if you're a newcomer, please help us to get to our goal of 3,000 subscribers before the end of this week. Yes, before the end of this week, we have 30 more subscribers to go before we hit the 3,000 mark. So yeah, if you're new, you love the content, just go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that fat red subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos. And you can check us out on our socials at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee. And you can find the link below in the description. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the elephant in the room that is quite clear for all to see that Jamaica has no pull, no ratings, nothing of that sort in world football when you look at the grand scheme of things. This is not track and field. This is not netball with the Sunshine Girls. This is football. And frankly, Jamaica has no ratings um, apart from our, our, our colors that... Um, Europeans and teams abroad love to use because it's Jamaica known for reggae music and Jamaica known for um, track and field, but we are not known for football. We are not tied to the football game worldwide because of football. And yeah, it's, it's just very clear and evident right now that whether it's local players like Leon Bailey, whether it's foreign-based players like Omari Hutchinson, they are going to disrespect the country they are not going to put the country first and it's clear for all to see no omar hutchinson has reportedly committed to england and is no longer interested in representing the jamaica national team it is no all but official right he does not want to represent jamaica he's made it clear that england is where he wants to be and we're going to get into that in this video also leon bailey who was told by, or who Steve McLaren told us, right, the media, that he was injured, played 63 minutes against Manchester United for Aston Villa on the weekend, and we're going to talk about that as well. So stay tuned. Remember to hit the like button. We want to get every single video we post to 100 likes. So if you love the content, just go ahead right now and hit that like button. Well, let's start off with Leon Bailey. Now, as you guys know, Leon Bailey... Um, was eagerly anticipated to be a part of the Reggae Boys squad for this upcoming international break. However, he was not featured in the squad. And obviously, when this press conference was going to be around and everyone saw that, see, that he was not in the squad, questions were going to be asked why he's not in that squad. No. C. McLaren was posed that question and his response was that Leon Bailey had an abductor injury and is out and will not be able to make the team for this international window. So with that said, all of us were expecting for Leon Bailey to either be on the bench as just for a precaution in case Aston Villa are flooded with more injuries and he has to play, or at home sitting and watching uh, or watching from in the stands. But to our surprise, we saw that Leon Bailey not only started the game, but played over an hour before he was taken off. And he did not seem injured. He did not seem phased. He was sprinting. He was normally when a man of an abductor injury, you know, see that? Right? So I don't want this from Steve McLaren. I thought Steve McLaren was going to come in and be something different than what Coach Amiel Grimson is. But he's going to learn it the wrong way. He's going to learn it the bad way. Stop picking up for these players. Make it plain and straight. Just like how you could make it plain and straight with Sheffield Wednesday. Because when you come out and say that he's injured and we see him play the next weekend, we're not going to have no credibility in the day in a way, as Mr. C. McLaren. See? So you have to make it plain and straight. Stop picking up for these players, especially Leon Bailey. You know, see where the man put him and him, him cohorts and um, him team put Coach Algr Punk Al Paul Calgrimson through. Focus on your team, focus on the national team and players who want to be here. Because there's no way this brother is injured. 
and was ruled out of selection because of an injury. And play 60 at minutes the day after against Manchester United or two days after against Manchester United. So why him play so beautifully and him can't come and play for Jamaica? Yes, if it was a case where McLaren, like how he said, spoke to the club and they decided that, hey, he's not going to go. He had a whole lot of minutes. He's still recovering. Then we could have said, all right. But are the lies we can't take in the game, brother? Just, just, just be straight up and say that. Why are you going to say he's out because he's injured and we see the man play? Looking fully fit, sprinting, taking man, whipping balls pan left. Why that burn up still? But me get what I say. Whipping, whipping crosses in. Pan left foot, pan right foot. Zin? Come on, man. We need, we need better that from that. Why could you be so clear, Mr. C. McLaren? When it, come, when it came on to Jamal Law. You, you, you were quick to say, hey, Jamal Law, you had a conversation with the club. You want to keep the relationship good with the club. They said they wanted to keep him. So you decided to just, all right, not make a big fuss of it. Why you couldn't just say the same thing for Leon Bailey? When it comes to Leon Bailey, you need to be straight. Because in, Leon Bailey has two set of people in his Jamaican fan base. His fans and people just don't like him because of things he's doing in the past. So for both of them people and to keep both of them people from not clashing, you need to be straightforward with what is going on with Leon Bailey in every international break. You see me? So that is what it is um, with Leon Bailey. He was clearly fit, even though Steve McLaren told us that he was injured and somebody do him a doctor. You see, he was clearly fit and he played. So in my eyes, me, I see it based off the facts that are presented in front of my face because obviously someone was hiding something. We don't know who. But based off the facts that is presented, based off what Steve McLaren told me that he was injured and we saw him go and play, in my eyes, Leon Bailey has this stuff. Leon Bailey, this reggae boys and this national team. That is how I see it. So unless you're going to come out and present new facts and new information, Leon Bailey, this, the reggae boys and the national team. Moving on to Omar Hutchins. Now, Simon Johnson, who is a journalist for The Athletic in the UK, wrote an article about Omar Hutchinson entitled, Omar Hutchinson opts to battle for place in England squad over Jamaica. Carlo. Now, I'm just going to go through the article and read a few key points from the article to really um, explain to you guys exactly what is going on with Omar Hutchinson. I believe this is the last video you guys are going to see me make up Omar Hutchinson. I clearly told you guys that I'm not going to be making any more Omar Hutchinson videos because I'm writing him off from, from the last call up that he ditched. But here it is basically official that he has chosen England, right? And before I even head into the article, the fact that he has chosen England, it really hurt me. Like how it, it I just that's what I needed him to do. So because the, the thing is, he has been parading in Jamaican flags. He has been flirting with the idea of playing for Jamaica for a long period of time. And the fans had habit. They have had enough. Right? And this is one of the sweetest news could have fallen to my ears and a whole lot of other fans here. So that we can completely forget about this punk. We can completely forget about this guy that has been carrying our hopes. Left, right, and center. Right? And he knew what his true intentions are. That's why I have to rate Isaac Hayden, you know. I have to rate Isaac Hayden because that man come out and say, yo, brother, them call me, them call me, them call me, them ask me, them ask me, them ask me. I do not want to play for Jamaica. He said it multiple times in the past and since recently. Even if he have to play my entire career, even where he has, he's at right now. No, we are near England selection. The man say, yo, we still dream of playing for England. And if you leave one cap, he prefer get that one cap than a hundred for Jamaica. That is what I like. That is the type of transparency that I like from players. And I respect Isaac Hayden for that. You see me? But I will never respect Omari Hutchinson. Omari Hutchinson is the next punk. And I, every time I, I refer to Mario Chinsa, I will refer to him as a punk, just like how I refer to punk Al Grimson as a punk. Because Mario Chinsa is a punk, brother. Big man thing. But as I say, it's, a it's one of the most beautiful news this I've encountered this month. That Mario Chinsa has, has said that he wants to take the England, um, fight for a spot in the England spot over taking a Jamaica call up. Beautiful news. I don't want to see him back in this spot in the future, you know. Because this man now will get three caps good for, for England. You know? And if he get three caps good, he now go no major tournament with England. You know? So I don't want to see 
when he reach all 28, 29, there about Jamaica and running for this big idiot funky boy. All right. So heading into the article um, from Simon Johnson, he says, nobody could accuse Omar Hutchinson of rushing the decision of where to focus his international ambitions. Over the past 12 months or so, there have been many meetings at various intervals with Jamaica asking him to fully commit to them, while people close to the England under-21s camp have been trying to persuade him to return to the England poll. One of those former Jamaica international um, players, Michael Johnson, who is now a part of the England under-21 squad, so a former Jamaican international, who is now a part of the England under-21 squad, sell out in country. I try to commit Omar Hutchinson or convince Omar Hutchinson to play for England. All right. Moving on. Omar Hutchinson earned his first official senior caps with Jamaica in two friendlies against Trinidad and Tobago last year. However, he had previously represented England at under-17 and under-19 level. His fine form on loan at Ipswich Town during the 23-24 season when he scored 10 championship goals and made six assists help him to earn promotion to the Premier League um, and intensify the battle for his services. Now, since the last time we had talked about Omar Hutchinson, you guys know about that period of time when Omar Hutchinson declined the call-up in March because he said he wanted to get Ipswich promoted. When Ipswich finally got promoted, he paraded in the Jamaica jersey. Why never parade in our England jersey? Right before a Copa America, leading all Reggae Boys fans into high hopes that he was going to come and represent the country in Copa America. Right? By the time Copa America came about, his club career was started. He had officially signed for Ipswich Town, and he was their club record signing. And guess what? He still decided not to come. And his excuse was, he wants to have a good preseason. He wants to this, he wants to that. Bro, from we see that, we see that this guy's not a committed guy to the national setup. See I don't want to hear this brother name in, in reggae boy space again. He has disrespected us. He has used us. You know, to see plain and straight. He has used us to get them international caps to put England in the fear of losing someone who they've developed through under 19 and under 21 levels. Youth coaches that develop players in at those levels do not want to see them go and um, represent other countries. You know, as simple as they see, they do not want to see that. Because if they have such pride in bringing players from under 15, under 19, under 21 levels. And would love to see them go and represent the national team. So they do not like to see when um, players leave and go and represent other countries. After they have spent the time to develop them. Which is fear on their end. Right? But it's also not fear on our end. And our emotions as Reggae Boys fans. For players to be toying around. Parading in Jamaica, Jersey. And Jamaica flag me for say, before a major international competition when people are expecting you to come and represent. And then you ditch us. Say, so, man, as me I said, I'm not reading no more of the article here. The link is going to be down below in the description. Because I'm going to talk no more about it and I'm going to say I'm oh, disrespectful. So I'm going to leave the link to the article below in the description. And you guys can go ahead and read the full article for yourself. Uh, remember, get us to 100 likes. Get us 30 more subscribers before the end of the week. So if you're new to the video, just go ahead, hit that fat red subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos and like the video, get the video to 100 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? Big up gunners, I hear that. Don't know something that gunners, but say, but big up gunners. Big